We are going to be working on warm up seven, which we are going to be evaluating expressions and simplifying expressions. So let's take a minute and I want you to go ahead and pause this. This is a review and I want you to try and do these four problems and then you can come back and see how you did. So on the first one, it tells you to simplify. When you simplify, it means you need to combine like terms. Put together the things that are the same. So I have an x and a positive 6x. That gives me 7x. OK, so let's look here. I've got 2y. Do I have any other y's? Nope. So I'll just write plus 2y. And then I have negative 4 minus 7. That gives you negative 11. This is your simplified answer. This is as far as it can go. Now on the next one, before we can combine like terms, we have to do the distributive property. There is a number outside the parentheses and you have to multiply it by each thing inside the parentheses. So three times X is three X. Three times negative four is negative 12. Two times X is positive two X. Two times negative six is negative 12. Now combine like terms. I've got three X and two X. That's gonna give me five X. Then I have negative 12 and negative 12. That's a negative 24 or minus 24. This is your simplified form. All right, on your next ones, it says to evaluate. That means that I need to substitute these numbers in here for those letters and then simplify and find out what my answer is. That might make sense to some of you now so that you can pause the video and see if you can do that. So on number three, I'm gonna write this. I'm gonna write three and instead of X, I'm gonna put a parentheses. Minus instead of the Y, I'm gonna put a parentheses. Plus three and where the Z is, put a parentheses. So it says X is one. So where this X is, I'm gonna put a one. So I put that here. Now, y is negative two, that's going where the y is, so I'm putting in there negative two, and z is four, so I'm gonna put that in here, just like this. Now, as I go to simplify, really what you could do is you could type it in the calculator exactly how you see it. This is three, because three times one is three, a negative, right here, a negative and a negative, changes to positive two, and then three times four is 12. So from this here, putting these all together, you should get 17 as your answer. Try and do number four the same way I just did number three. So on number four, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna put a negative, and then where the X is, I'm gonna put a parentheses, plus three, and where the Z is, put a parentheses, minus three, and when the y is, put a parentheses. Okay, so where x was one, so I'm gonna put the one in there. Two was the y, or negative two was, oh, that's not the y, silly me, be careful what you do, just so that you don't make the same mistake I almost did. Y is negative two, so I'm gonna go over here to where the y is and put negative two. Then the z, Z is right here with the three and I'm, that's a four. So I'm putting that in there. Now put all of that in the calculator and you'll get your answer. You also can do it by negative times one, negative one plus 12, negative three times negative two is positive six. Put these all together. Oh, what is that? 11 plus 16. Again, the answer is 17. Uh, what a coinky dink. 